He is number one in the state in a category no one wants to win. More than one out of five people is reporting having some kind of flu-like symptom. That's higher than the state average, and those symptoms are showing up much sooner than last year. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders is live outside the Shelby County Health Department with tonight's local health alert. Brad? Well, Richard, the Shelby County Health Officer said young people are being hit especially hard with the flu here in recent weeks. But there's good news. It's not too late to get your flu shot for free. Emergency rooms to urgent care clinics. Shelby County doctors and nurses spent Christmas week slammed with a spike in patients. State health data showed in the week of December 22nd to 28th. Shelby County's nearly 2,900 reported cases of flu-like illnesses were nearly 21% higher than the statewide average. It is uh, concerning to me because, of course, our goal is to keep Shelby County citizens healthy, safe. Dr. Bruce Randolph, the Shelby County Health Officer, said the flu shot covers the influenza B strain, which he said is spreading at a more rapid rate compared to this time last year. So that may explain why we're seeing the numbers that we're seeing. The flu is contagious and can be spread when people with the flu sneeze, cough, even talk. Flu is very serious. Dr. Randolph said the most recent flu-like cases are also especially affecting children around the age of four. In the case of kids, you know, they could have increased risk of ear infection, sinusitis, you know, in addition to pneumonia. And that's why Dr. Randolph reminded parents and everyone countywide there's still time to get protected. The flu shot is one of the major ways of preventing the flu. Now, the recent state data also showed high flu-like illnesses reported in the Jackson-Madison County region of the state. To find out where and when you can get free flu shots throughout several locations across the Shelby County Health Department system, log on to our website, localmemphis.com, and click on the green Find It tab. Reporting live in Memphis' Medical District, Brian Broders, Local 24 News.